Who's up next? Three, 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 nine. Three, 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 nine. You up? Three, 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 nine. Hello. Hello. Yo, we got you. You hear me? Yeah, we got you, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I had a, I had a quick question. Um, so I am in a relationship right now. I work in construction. I don't make too much money. But um, I just wanted your honest opinion. You can be as brutally honest as possible. Sure. What do y'all think I should do to motivate myself? Not motivate myself, but just get into a higher position where I can actually not have to worry about getting like cheated on or All right, how old you? about financial how old struggles you? and stuff. 20, oh. 23. Where do you live? Or, uh, Orlando, Florida. How much do you earn per year? Um... I think last year under 40k, so not a lot. Hold on, does she make more than you? Um, she just got a pay raise. She works at Disney, so she works. She gets 17 an hour. And how old is she? Uh, 23. How hmm. long y'all been together? Uh, like five, almost five months now. Um, you are you? Did you ask her, or did she ask you? <laughs> What do you mean, like, uh, to, to be in a relationship? Yeah. So she had kind of prompted, and um, I was just still gauging, because, like, I had just found out about your podcast before we started dating. Yeah. And I was trying to gauge based on what I learned from y'all. Yep. And so from what I had seen so far, it seemed like a good thing, but, like, I'm starting to see that there's a little bit of tension just because of financial issues, I can already tell. Do you and live so with that's her? That's I was calling. Or does she live with you? Uh, No. Uh, no, nah, we don't live together, but um, I'm basically at her house, m- m- like, most of the time. Okay, do you live with your parents or what? Nah, I live uh, with my two brothers. I'm renting his, uh, he, so my brother owns a house. Why are you always at her house? house Navy and, huh? Why are you always at her house? house? Yeah, why are you at her house all the time? Oh, just, that's the, that's one of the things that I started noticing once we started dating. So, um, it was like, hey. You know, we'll spend some time at your house and you spend some time at my house. But then now it's like, oh, I don't really want to go over there. Uh, it's too far of a drive for her. <laughs> and so I was making a compromise and a sacrifice. See? And so I'm starting okay. to see the negative. So no, um, nope. it's going to be, I'm going to be very uh, blunt about this. Number one, you're 23 years old. So you shouldn't even be in a serious relationship anyway. Number two, uh, you didn't vet her for long enough, my friend. We tell y'all all the time you need to vet a girl for somewhere between six to th- six months to one year before you even think about taking her seriously and making her your main girl. Um, number three, you're a brokey. You need to make more money uh, and you need to stop being a fucking brokey. Um, so if that means uh, working more hours at your construction job or getting another job, you need to make more money. Um, making the amount of money that you make, which is, I think you said, under 40K, if I'm not mistaken, in Orlando is damn near yep. poverty, bro, especially since Florida has went up in price yep. significantly exactly. thanks to all the New Yorkers that moved down here. So um, what I would say is, is that be prepared for this relationship to probably not work um, because you are not in a position of authority over your girl. And um, you're and, and honestly, you haven't you haven't earned the right to be, to be honest with you. Yeah. So she's at her peak. You're not you're not at your peak at all. Um, and you need to get your shit together. So there's two things here, bro. Uh, I think the question is wrong because you're framing it as a money issue. Bro, you can tell off rip she lost interest or she lost respect because if she's worried about driving to you. Let's be real here. If girls into you, bro, to drive from Orlando to Miami, freaking Texas, doesn't really matter because she, she's into you. You don't drive to your crib, bro. That's, that's a bigger issue because she's saying to your face, you know what? You're not worth my time. So off it, bro. I get the money part. It might be an issue, but like for the main thing, it might, might have been your frame because uh, at that point, bro, she's already lost interest. Number two, though, is that celebrities have money, bro, and they get cheated on. So the money it does, is a factor, not everything to end all be all. So to be honest, bro, I think this, this shit's a wrap at this point, but hey. If you want to hold on for a little longer, yeah, you wiped, up, you wiped up her. You wiped her up way too prematurely too. Uh, she didn't earn it, and yeah. um, you didn't vet her long enough, which is why you're dealing with these problems now. But I get it. You just found our content, so it's fine. I mean, obviously, the stuff that we talk about, a lot of other coaches aren't going to tell you this stuff because, yeah. you know, to be honest with you, most of the, um, <laughs> most of the internet is cucked and aren't going to tell you this stuff. But yeah, bro, uh, what I would say is to get some of that leverage back is break up with her. Yeah. Break up with her. You Tell need- her, hey, I don't want to be with you anymore. And then and then break up with her and then let her kind of figure out, let her the mind race and figure out why you broke up with her because women don't get broken up with often. And um, and then just, you know, hang out with her, have sex with her, whatever it may be. Uh, and then, you know, see other women and then get your money up, bro. Because to be honest with you, 
You're a fucking bum right now. See, the problem is, bro. You don't even deserve a girlfriend. In this uh, situation, someone has to like submit. And it looks like you submitted to her, which means you're following her pattern, her her level of like, uh, I want to say, um, competency, which means you're going to her, and then she, she goes to you, which means off rip, but you're following her pattern. So, I mean, obviously, bro, at this point, it's probably over. Yeah, you got you to break up with her, bro. Yeah. Break up with her. Get that leverage back. Um, if you want to continue to see her, I guess that's on you. But the, the point is, is that you, you're you not even in a position to date a girl seriously because you're a fucking bum. You're a loser. Yeah, but I'm going to be all the way honest. Plus, have fun, man. Dude, you're 23 years old, bro. Have yeah, fun, you shouldn't dude. be in a serious relationship with a girl anyway. And yeah. you didn't make her earn it, which is why she's behaving the way that she did. So break up with her, man. Bro, go there, drop off, some, and then leave, bro. Yeah, break up with her. She's no longer your main girl. She's uh, only. And honestly, uh, at this point, if she doesn't want to, um, if she gets mad about it, whatever, then you know where she stood the whole time. I remember, and dude, once again, Next time you, you deal with a girl, make sure she's following your frame. You don't follow her frame. Yeah. So. Solid advice. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Right now you're a bum, but you could build yourself up. So build yourself up, work more, work more hours, make more money, get some and uh, break up with her. Get some leverage back. Do you go to the gym? I'd cut him up. Oh. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Well, make sure you're in the gym too and take care of yourself. All right. Who's up next?